it just keeps getting better and better and better. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport. Welcome to In The Field. Thanks for joining me today. If this is the first time you're checking out one of my videos, thanks for giving me a shot. Also know that this is not normally where I'm set up. I'm usually in my studio in San Diego. Right now I'm on the road. I'm in Bandon, Oregon, and in a few hours I'm starting a workshop. And uh, this is the beach house. This is where uh, I host the workshop. Bandon Beach is steps from the house, which is a, a fantastic location. But today I want to share with you Sweet Creek. This is a spot that I stopped at along the way on my travels to get to Bandon. And it is a, a fantastic location. I wish I'd known about this space earlier. So uh, credit where credit is due. Dan Harlicker over at On One gave me the tip on this place. Dan, thanks a lot. This was a beauty. Let me get everybody out there. Let's show you what uh, this place is all about. beautiful little spot right behind me. I'm going to grab some photos of uh, this nice fall color and the streams going behind it and then get myself down to the, the base of the streams there. There's some other opportunities and I haven't even been on the trail for five minutes and I'm already finding just gems of photos. So this is going to be a fun morning. Well, the sun is actually breaking through the clouds. It's nice to get a break from the little bit of drizzle here. Set up at the base of this cascade F11 using a polarizer to cut glare off of the foreground water and some of the wet rocks here. Not including the sky in the shot at all. There's nothing interesting up there. It's all about these cascades and framing up so that the stationary elements kind of anchor the shot. Forest in the background is context and then really just fine tuning the exposure time so the water looks its best. Now this is gonna be my last stop for this morning here at Sweet Creek. And it's, it's a great location, uh, very easy hike, enough places to pop out. And if you're a little uh, adventurous, there are some uh, little things you can scale down and get some really unique compositions. So uh, I'm gonna grab a couple more photos of this and then head on out and call it a morning. I'm gonna jump straight to the tip of the week, which is the polarizer. I talked about polarizers a couple of weeks ago when I was in Acadia Park. And this is another situation where the polarizer is invaluable, really cutting down the glare off of the foliage, off of the water. And I want to show you a couple of photos. This is the exact same setup, same camera settings. First one is no polarizer. And then purely just by adding the polarizer and rotating it in a position, the same shot just is so much richer. It's not as harsh. The, the, the lighting is just much more consistent and overall a whole lot more pleasing. So polarizers are key. They are the best things ever when you are dealing with situations that have a lot of glare, whether it's coming off of foliage, off of wet rocks, off of water itself. Manage that glare with your polarizer. And that's going to do it for this week's In the Field. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know somehow. Comments on the video below. If you got questions about photography, you can hit me up through the comments, or if you want to keep it private, send me a message through my website. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, and happy shooting.